Hi everyone, this is Amy from the Helms Academy and today we're going to talk about graphing 101. So these are the basics that you need to know to be able to understand what a graph is and how you use it. So what is a graph? Well, you can see the picture on the screen. It's a combination of these two lines with the numbers on them that allow you to chart points. So we use them for a couple of things. We can chart points to show comparisons or understand changes or differences. We could chart a geometric figure like a square, triangle, parallelogram, and help to understand uh, the dimensions of it. We could create a visual for algebraic equations. There are numerous ways to use a graph, but it's a visual representation of numbers that we see. So let's take a look at how to better use it and what the elements of a graph are. So the first thing we need to know about are the axes. So there's an X axis and a Y axis. You can see on the example there that the X axis goes left to right and right to left and the Y axis goes up and down. So both of them are very important because we need both to be able to chart a point. A point is going to come from an x-axis and a y-axis number. Now, the points are always listed as the x first and then the y after that. So when you see a parentheses like the one on the screen with two numbers in it, know that the first number will always be the x-axis and the second number will always be the y-axis. Now, you can remember that these go in alphabetical order because X comes before Y. You just need to remember that X is horizontal and Y is vertical. Now, if we're charting points on a graph, it may look something like this. So you can see in the middle, there's a zero and then the Y axis as it goes up, you'll see a positive one, two, three, four. And as it goes down, you'll see a negative one, two, three, four. Now the same thing on the x-axis, as you go to the right, you'll see the 1, 2, 3, 4 positive, and as you go to the left, you'll see the negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4. So 0 is really our middle central point here, and everything comes out of that. Now if I were looking at the points on the graph, the way I would figure out where they are is by figuring out where it intersects from the x-axis and the y-axis. So I'd encourage you to take a finger and put it to the screen here so that you can follow along. Start at the zero. Now we're trying to find the A right now. So we would go over until on the X axis until we line up with A. Now, if you're with me, you should be at a positive four because it's right underneath of where that A point is on the X axis. So our X coordinate is going to be four now follow that four line up to where the A is. And where is it on that Y axis? How many lines up did we go? Well, we went up to three. So our coordinate then would be four, three. Now you already see the B coordinates on the screen there. So again, I would go back to zero and then I'm gonna start with the X and I'll go over until I'm lined up with the B point and you'll see that I'm at negative two there. Now go down along the y-axis to see how many far or how far down we need to go to get to that B point and you'll see that we made it to negative three. So when I put those together my B coordinates are negative two, negative three and they're always written inside a parentheses with a comma in between them. All right so we're going to do a little activity together here we're going to chart a few points on our graph. So let's take a look. First, we have negative three, two. So again, I'm gonna start at zero. So zero, zero is the middle. And now I need to go over to negative three. So we're gonna move to the left to where we see the negative three line. And then we need to go to positive two. Well, the positives on the y-axis are up, so we're going to go up one, two, and put a point right there, and you'll see that we have negative three, two on our chart. Now, this next one says negative two, negative three. 
So don't be mixed up because they look similar. We still need to start from the beginning and look at, okay, our zero, zero point. So we're in the very middle starting at zero and we need to go across the X axis horizontally first to negative two. So again, we're gonna go to the left over to the negative two line. And now we need to go to three, a positive three. So we're gonna go up to positive three on the Y line. And there we are, we have another point charted. Our next one says positive nine, positive one. So again, I'm gonna start at zero, go across the X axis to find the positive nine. Once I found that positive nine, I'm going to go up to a positive one. I'm going to chart my point there. Our next one says positive one, negative nine. So again, I'm gonna start at zero, go to positive one on the X axis, and then follow the Y down until it lines up with negative nine. Right here. And for our last one, you'll see negative two, negative five. So again, start at zero, go over to negative two, and then follow the x-axis down to negative five. And that will be our spot. So with that, you can see this is how we would take points that are written in that x, y format in parentheses and place them on a chart. Now, we might in more advanced work be asked to find the slope or a certain difference between different points, maybe asked to look for trends. But for today, this is an overview of how to use a graph. Thank you so much for watching today and for checking out this Helms Academy video. I hope that you learned something new and that you'll look at our other videos by subscribing to our YouTube channel. You can also check us out at helmsacademy.org or on Instagram and Facebook.